Hey everyone, it's Mike Andes. I'm the founder of Augusta Lawn Care. We have over 70 locations around North America. But today I'm talking about investing, the stock market, and at, on Black Friday last week, I'm gonna talk about what I went out and bought. Because over the past few weeks, as most of you know, the past month or so, I've sold off more than 50% of my stock portfolio, almost 60%. But last Friday, there was an opportunity, and I'm actually putting back in at least another 10 or 20% back into the market, probably for the short term, but I'm gonna explain the day the three different ways that I'm attacking this uh, new variant that has come in to South Africa and the potential for it to take over similar to Delta or even beyond. We're seeing lockdowns in Europe and I'm gonna play this in a couple different ways, short term and long term for the stock market. So. I have a whole bunch of stocks that I'm not even gonna talk about today that I already have. I'm gonna only talk about the ones I'm currently making moves on in three different areas. So the first area, and this is what I bought mostly on Black Friday when this scare came out, and that is if we, there is no problems. Okay, so if there is no issue with this new variant, and we see uh, you know, nothing happens, it blows over, and we continue the same way that we anticipate, which is inflation. Because if we have lockdowns, it's gonna be deflationary. People will spend less money, it will slow down inflation, there'll be a lot of other issues, but in terms of no issues with COVID and this new variant, if that takes place, a lot of the fears we saw in the retail, a lot of the fears that we saw in travel and leisure will be subsided. So I bought on uh, last Friday about seventy dollars to $80,000 worth of Visa, Delta, uh, Delta Airlines, I should say, uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines, Norwegian Cruise Lines, and Uber. Okay, so I could dive deep on every single one of these, but these for me are all short term. Okay, I'm not holding these on onto these for years to come. It's not that I don't believe in these companies, I just don't see this. Um, this is a little more of my, my trading. All right, I'm moving in, I'm moving out. I'm looking for a 20 to 40% upside, and then I will exit these positions. I don't believe in Delta or Norwegian Cruise Lines in the long, long run, mostly due to the fact the amount of debt they've had to take on and restructuring. I also believe that they're gonna come out of this whole COVID-19 thing extremely efficient compared to the, what they were even a couple years ago. So I'm looking for a 20 to 40% upside. Again, this is not, fun or super exciting. People are going into GameStop trying to get this every single hour. So this is not by any means like, I'm not trying to triple my money on these ones. These are short term, but this is what I believe is going to happen over the next couple months if this new variant is not really a big issue and we continue on the same rate of inflation that we currently see. Now, let's assume though that, you know, the worst case, God forbid, this is actually a big issue and we go into lockdowns. Okay, and we actually see some deflationary pressure uh, and uh, just a lot of bad stuff happening because of this COVID variant. So I have actually, previous to Black Friday, already purchased this one stock quite a bit, and that was Zoom. When Zoom went under uh, 250, I started buying in quite a bit. And so Friday, it jumped about eight, 9% because of the fears. So it's almost I'm balancing these out. Like these, I bought in last Friday, hadn't touched these stocks for over a year, but especially like Delta Airlines, for example, literally went under the stock price that it was in June of 2020. So I'm just seeing some really op good opportunity years. I think when Uber becomes profitable, as it becomes profitable in the next few months and the next quarter, uh, I think that's gonna jump up to above 55, uh, that stock price there as well. So uh, I can talk about Visa too, which I'm also really impressed with the way that their uh, margins are. Like they're like a 50% pr net profit margin business. I think that's extremely uh, stable. So even if we go into some un uh, economic uncertainty, you wanna be with high margin businesses like Visa. And even when COVID did hit last year, it did not massively affect Delta uh, Visa because just the scope and size of Visa, I think some people underestimate just how big they are in the financial world. But anyways, back to if we actually do go into a lockdown and bad things happen, uh, another company I've just recently purchased is Upwork. Uh, mostly due to the fact, again, I, I like Upwork under 40. If it goes under 30, I'll probably buy a little bit more. Upwork is where you can hire freelancers short term and long term. And I feel like if, if we go back into the scenario of people going working virtually, that Upwork will uh, benefit. Now, this one I'm willing to hold on to a little bit longer term because I truly believe that this type of work is gonna be the future of the office and the future of building tech companies, et cetera, is using virtual labors. So very uh, interesting. That. Now, this company I've actually never purchased because it's been so expensive and I've always wanted to buy it. 
And as soon as it went under 190, I, I started buying more PayPal. Okay, if it goes under 150, I'll buy in probably three times as much. So I'm only about, I want to say, twenty thousand dollars in. I'm like, I'm just kind of nibbling. A lot of these, I'm just nibbling. I'm not, I'm not a hundred thousand deep into these companies. I'm just kind of nibbling. And if they keep falling, I'll keep buying these. So the reason I'm buying PayPal right now is because it's down so much, and I've been having my eye on this this stock uh, since it was literally almost double this price. It was over three hundred uh, per share, and I have my eye on it, but it's just been way too high, highly priced. It's been coming down now for several different reasons, but I feel like if we do go into a lockdown scenario, it will rebound significantly. And if it doesn't, again, I'm going to hold on this one for the long term. Okay, so Zoom is about 50% down. PayPal, I want to say, is about 30 or 40% down. Upwork is about 40% down. So a lot of these stocks, when I buy in, I will not buy at the top. Like there's just something inside of me that hurts if I'm buying and it's been doing this. I'm only going to buy it if I see a good correction. So first time I've ever been in PayPal, first time I've ever been in Upwork, and I've been in Zoom for the past couple of weeks as soon as it went under $250 per share. Last two, I'll just throw in real quick is Pinterest, so pins, and Twilio. I've been in Twilio. Uh, I sold out of it when it was almost 500 per share. It's now uh, under 300, and if it goes under 250, I'll buy more of it. So Pinterest, I think most of us know what that is. Uh, social media uh, has really been hurt recently because of when the lockdowns were in place, just the massive amount of user growth has really started to, to wane. However, if you look at the numbers, I actually feel like people are way overblowing that slowdown and growth on Pinterest, and I really like their ad product. I'm very interested in how that uh, is going to be in the future. So again, long term here as well. Uh, so these ones, these these companies here, even though I put lockdown, they're at such good prices right now, and I believe in these companies for the long term. They are going to be long term buys that I, I would hold on to. So even you know, all this ones here, same thing with Twilio. I love all these companies long term, and now that they've come down in pricing, uh, I'm willing to buy. And if they go down more, I'll continue to buy. The third scenario is more of a defensive. A play, and that is something that I have been buying in over last weekend as well as the past couple weeks, and that is long term defense. Okay, so as we went into last year's or 2020, I should say. During March, April, May, June, when everything was extremely low, I was buying a lot of different stocks, high growth stocks especially, that I really believed in. But I'm also now looking at, okay, what's the long defense move? If we do not have an issue, and what are the long-term defense, so long defense plays in an inflationary period? So if inflation is going through the roof, where do I want to be? I'm going to be in these stocks here. So first one is pretty speculative, and I might be hated for this because uh, you know companies like AMD and Nvidia are taking these guys out to lunch. But I feel like Intel, Intel's been beat up massively on their stock price. When and if you look at their valuation compared to the likes of AMD, I truly believe if they can turn their business around over the next two to three years, uh, there's going to be a massive amount of chip shortage. And if they can you know be the players in that in the U.S. that's building U.S. Uh, chips, I feel like there's an opportunity there because we do. Depends so much on Taiwan for chips, uh, and if that relationship was strained with China, I feel like Intel could make a resurgence if they turn things around. A little bit of a speculative play here, but again, this is long-term defense plays that I see having a dividend, being much more stable, having great margins, and their price-to-earnings ratios are much much lower. Uh, another one that is a little bit less commonly known is Vail. They do a lot of iron ore, different metals. They produce and transport a lot of different metals. They have a massive dividend and they're again just very cash rich businesses okay again both of these I'm only buying these because these are come down so much in in just their stock price I see a lot of value in them a couple other ones DuPont which is chemicals again in an inflationary period if nothing happens with this whole uh, COVID outbreak and we go into next year and inflation is still running rampant and then interest rates start getting knocked up these growth stocks are going to get hit very hard but these will do very well because they produce so much cash flow and uh, they're going to be less affected by high inflation and increasing rates of, uh, of interest. Last one here I did is really just a, a complete defensive move, and that's Walmart. Uh, mostly due to the fact that Walmart does well when the, the economy overall is weak because they are their prices are so low. And I specifically went into Walmart even more so when I saw what they did in their last quarterly earnings report, and that was, hey, we could have raised prices. We don't really have a massive constraint on our supply chain. Like We figured that out, but we kept our prices low in order to keep 
cheap market share. And so I feel like they're gonna actually have a massive uh, leg up on the likes of other retailers that have increased prices, increased margins, and their stock prices have gone up. Whereas Walmart has said, hey, we're gonna keep our prices low to keep customers loyal to us. And I feel like that's gonna play out well for them in the long run. I like their positioning and staying true to what they believe in. That's everyday low prices and not just trying to take advantage of everyone that's willing to pay a premium because of inflation right now. So these are the plays that I'm, I'm doing right now. Short term, if there's no issue with COVID, these are gonna do well. I'm gonna exit when they hit 40 to 50%. I will exit out of these positions. If we do go into an actual lockdown or this is becoming a bigger issue with this whole variant, these stocks will do very well. I feel like they're beat down so much. Even if they go down a little bit more, I'll still continue to buy them, especially the likes of PayPal, Twilio, and Zoom. Whereas Pinterest and Upwork are a little bit smaller. Uh, I'm not as, uh, I'm not gonna probably build out my position more if they fall. Long-term though defense, if nothing happens with this whole variant and we continue to see inflation go up and we see interest rates go up, if interest rates go up, these more speculative stocks, high growth stocks are going to be affected and hurt a lot more. These ones are gonna crush it. And especially the likes of Vail, Intel, and DuPont that have strong dividends and have very low price to earnings ratio. Watch people pile money into these stocks if we see inflation continue to run rampant. So I hope that was helpful. I'm probably wrong on some of these. Uh, and when you give this many stock names out, you're gonna be wrong, but I really do believe that uh, educating yourself about these companies and what's moving the markets and why you're choosing these stocks is extremely important. So I wanna hopefully give, as time goes on, my picks and why I'm doing what I'm doing, and uh, let's see how it turns out. In a month or two, I'll let you know if I've moved out of these positions and uh, hopefully be as transparent as possible. Thanks so much, hit the like button, subscribe, and check out the, uh, just in the description, there's some courses on business, et cetera. Feel free to check those out. We'll see you next time.